All right, this is number five from the 2011 A, B, and B, C exams. It's a uh, separable differential equation type of problem. And uh, they ask you to do a couple things before you actually get to that. Um, so the first part is uh, we have to write the equation of a tangent line at zero and use it to approximate the value of the function at t equals one fourth. So we are given the um, differential equation. We're given dw dt. And we're also told that w of zero equals 1400. You have to kind of read through the problem to find that. Um, but they tell you that. And uh, so the first thing I need is dw dt at t equals 0, which is going to be um, 125th, and then plug in the 1400 that we're given, minus 300, and that'll give us um, 1100 over 25. You could actually leave it there, but uh, you know that there are 425s in every 100, so there are 1100, so this is going to be 44. Uh, it just makes it a little easier to do what we need. So write the equation of the tangent line at t equals 0. So that's going to be y minus 1400 equals the slope we just found, and then t minus 0. And then we're supposed to use it to approximate uh, the value of w at t equals 1 fourth. So w when t is 1 fourth is approximately 1400 plus 44 times the 1 fourth, which is uh, 1411 and then tons. Um, so that's our approximation. So nothing too exciting. A lot of people get freaked out because the differential equation doesn't have a t in it. Uh, you expect to see the independent variable, but it's just not in there. So don't worry about it. Um, it doesn't really make the problem any harder. Uh, but yeah, a lot of students complained about that after the fact. Now we have to find the second derivative, um, which involves implicit differentiation. So we'll get 1 over 25 and then dw dt. Uh, you might want to distribute the 1 over 25 first to see why that simplifies to that so quickly. Now what we need to do is substitute for dw dt, so 1 over 25, and that's dw dt, so we're going to plug in for it. And simplify this. Alright, so now the question that we have to answer is, is our approximation from part A an over or an underestimate? Um, so we know that between 0 and 1 fourth, um, w is greater than or equal to 1400. We know that because in the original problem statement they tell us that w is increasing. So if it's increasing then it's its minimum at the left endpoint. So it's its minimum at zero. Um, and then if that's the case then looking at the second derivative we know that it's definitely greater than zero since 1400 is way bigger than 300. Um, so w is concave up which means that the tangent line falls below um, the actual curve, and if the tangent line is below the curve, we're getting an underestimate. Alright, so not particularly difficult, but you do have to reason your way through it. Uh, the next part, as you might have guessed, is that we have to actually separate and integrate this thing. Um, so we'll start out with this, we'll separate, and throw some integral signs in there. Uh, integrate, don't forget on the left hand side, it's the absolute value. And then uh, definitely do not forget your plus c, which goes on the side with the independent variable. Now, anytime I have a natural log and I need to exponentiate, I exponentiate before I solve for c, um, because it kind of makes the absolute value thing uh, a little less tricky, because we can just drop the absolute values um, and let the value of c determine whether it should have been the positive or the negative branch. All right, so rearranging that a little bit and throwing in our initial condition, which was w of 0 is 1400. Substitute everything in, get 1400, 300 plus blah blah blah, e to the 0 is 1, so we know that c is 1100, and then we go back and substitute. So 300 plus 1100 e to the 1 over 25t, and that's our solution. Uh, so that's the entire problem. Don't let the fact that there's no t in the differential equation screw you up. Um, just use what you're given, and uh, you'll be fine. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Good luck.